No way! Dude, that's awesome! Uh, Stu? Oh my. Someone's been busy. Your joyment pal asked if we wanted to live. This don't feel like living. Calm down, everybody. Everything's fine. Or, or going to be fine. Okay? My friends, old and new, we stand on the brink of victory. Element 115, Group 935, the Helpic Scourge, the MPD, the Apothecons, all of it will soon be gone. But tonight, tonight we celebrate. Some maggot feeders headed downstairs, and we ain't got no weapons. Yes, I'm telling them now, but they're all a teasy bit grumpy because they just woke up. Hey, Stu, you want to be a bit more specific about what the voice in your head is actually saying? Dr. Minty, what is he like a bad guy? We gotta go. This power and the means to control it, we can go wherever we choose. At last, we can return to our homes, our old lives, our families. I've got to be honest with you, Samuel. I don't have even the slightest inkling as to what an Agarthan device is. He didn't say you had to know what it was, Mars, and just how to build it. Trust me, guys. It won't be that complicated. In fact, my German pal says it's going to be a schlomp dunk. It's one thing trusting you, Stu. It's a whole other thing trusting your imaginary brain buddy. Oh, Rossman, how can you even say that? He's the sweetest guy in the whole universe. He wants us to help save it! The universe! Thank you, Sammy. I'm moved. This is nearly over, child, but one thing remains. The one who perpetuates this madness. He must be... I wish I did not have to ask this of you, but... Only you can do it. Very mortal, very mortal indeed, but a lot has changed. 
maybe since we both got a little taste of this MPD, it's helped us see a little more the eye to eye. I know she's got every right to be mad, but with her dad being killed and all. But how can we be sure she won't turn on us? You know, there was a time on the face where Max is very much a father to me, too. What? You're serious? I only ever knew him as a bitter rival. The Cronorium shows only Samantha's path to redemption. When war is over, she will be normal child again. Innocent. Same as boy. So that's nice to know. It's been a long time since I've been innocent. Do not remind me. I'll tell you one thing. A long time ago, Samantha told me something very important. She promised she would keep us safe forever. And that she would make everything okay. She said her dad had a plan. Look, the lighthouse beam! for the fight of your life. <sighs> Here goes nothing. Or everything. Part of that. Stop and go! Stop! 
worse outside it! It stopped moving! Killing you! Ah! I'm just glad she's on our side. Tell them everything, Nikolai. The Apothecons, the Keepers, the Shadow Man, the Dark Eater. Monty. Shadow Man? The Apotha what's? What's he talking about, Nikolai? They are legends contained in the book, the Cronorium. Tales of demons and angels commanded by the forces of light and darkness. That does not sound unlike any war we have ever faced. Demons and angels, light and darkness, the big stuff. Who was who? Which was which? Do you know that, Nikolai? Monty and Shadow Man were more similar than you know, Victor. Both were corrupted by the Dark Aether. One by his own ambition, the other desperately trying to save his friend. Do you remember when I asked you what you really want? We remember. But why do you ask this now? Because the Great War... No. The greatest war is the one we fight 
against ourselves. This is eerie. I almost liked it better with the meat munchers running around. Almost. Damn sure tried. What's he up to in that lighthouse? Doesn't look right. Hey, it's one of those portal things. W where's he going? Do you hear the sounds of conflict? He is going to war. My friends, you asked me before what my name is. I did not tell you because I no longer felt like myself, you know? <laughs> but you brought me back. You made me whole again. My name is Pablo, Pablo Marinus, once and future hero of the Great War, and I am going to save the universe! Save the universe, huh? I thought that was our job. Go, comrades, he left that for you. Comrades, as we toast our victory, I want each of you to think about what you really want. Where would you like to go now? Believe me, you can have it. Multiverse must come to an end. The paradox must be resolved. At least, it will be quick. Oh! 
We found the Adarvan device! I know. And I'm so sorry. Me too, Richtofen. We fought for what we wanted. We got more than we deserved. All the chapters of our lives, good and bad. Even if there was no witness, even if no one cared to see, it still happened somewhere. We fought the Great War over and over, but victory could never be ours. We were always doomed to fail. Monty told us the truth. Our journey is the very reason this madness exists. We are the ones who fractured the universe. This is the truth the Cronorium showed me. The truth Richtofen could no longer face. When we are gone, so too is everything that spewed forth from the ether. Element 115, the Apothecals, even Monty himself. All of it will be banished to where it belongs. The Dark Aether. We should not be here. Our time past. But, for all the pain and torment we have endured together, as we leave this life behind, it is my hope that you know one thing beyond any doubt. Look away. Eddie. You are more than just my allies, my brothers in arms. You were my friends. Probably 
think about it. Wherever I go, you know I'll be kicking ass. <laughs>